This is Dr. Susan Thrall. Let's do a more complicated if structure where there are three possibilities to choose from. Before you, you see our previous if structure, our calculate the commission structure, where there are only two possibilities. If the salesperson sold greater than or equal to $5,000 worth, then their commission was 10%. If they sold less than $5,000 worth, their commission was 5%. So there were only two possibilities, either 10% or 5%. And this is how we had programmed it previously. We have if, our condition, ending the if line is a then. And then we have the true part. The true part comes after the then. So if the sales was greater than or equal to 5000 then our commission is 10%. The false part comes after the else statement. So if the sales are not greater than or equal to 5,000, that means they have to be less than, what's, what happens if that's false? Well, then our commission is 5%. So we have two possibilities, the 10% or the 5%. Now let's say that our structure for commissions has three possibilities. Here it is. If we sell between zero to slightly less than $5,000, we get a 5% commission. Between 5,000 and slightly less than 10,000, we get a 10% commission. And 10,000 or more, we get a 15% commission. How do we write that in Visual Basic? So what we want to do is change our if structure to handle three possibilities. Now when we work a complicated if structure, we're going to use the else if. We can start at either end. We can start at the low end and work to the top, or start at the top end work to the bottom. We could also actually start in the middle, but it's much easier to start and work our way to the top or from the top and work our way to the bottom. So since last time we started at the top and then our false was the bottom part, let's do it just the opposite, just for variety. So we're going to say if our sales decimal is less than 5,000, then what's going to happen? If it's less than 5,000, our commission is only 5%. So we're going to change that 10% to 5%. All right, what if it's not less than 5,000? There's two other possibilities. So we can't just say else. We have to have an else if structure. So I'm going to take away that else, add an if to the else if, and give the second possibility. The second possibility is if sales decimal is less than $10,000. And we have a word then. All right, what if this part is true? If sales decimal is less than 10000 then our commission is going to equal our sales decimal, our sales times 10%. What happens if it's not less than 10,000? What happens if it's over 10,000? Well, there's only one other possibility, and we're going to put that with an else. And the only other possibility is that our commission is calculated as our sales times 15%. And we end our structure with a typical end def. So here are three possibilities. Sales decimal is less than 5,000. Sales decimal is less than 10,000. Or the only other possibility, it's greater. So we don't have to actually check if it's greater than or equal to 10,000. If it fails the less than 5,000, if it fails or is false for the less than 10,000, the only other possibility is our third one, that it's 10,000 or over. So when we start checking, if the first one is false, the computer will not do the then part. It skips down to the else if part and does the second check. 
If the second one is also false, the computer does not do the true part. It skips down to this else where we're calculating the 15%. So that means we're not less than 5,000, we're not less than 10,000. The only other possibility in our structure is that it's 10,000 or over. So there are the three parts. Notice every time we have an if, a then ends that line. So here we have an else if, a then ends that line. We don't have to check for the third possibility because if this is false and this is false, the only other possibility is that it has to be a 15% commission. So that when we run our program, if our amount of sales is $15,000, note we should be making a 15% commission and indeed we are. I'll clear that. Let's say we were not a very good salesperson. We only sold $3,000 worth of items. We have our 5% commission. And let's say we were a medium salesperson. We sold $7,000. That should give us a 10% commission. And indeed it does. So once again, our structure has two ifs, an if and an else if to act for the three possible conditions.